Jacob Winters lived what seemed to be the perfect life, a rising star at his law firm, a beautiful wife named Sarah, and a lavish suburban home. But beneath the surface, something darker simmered. Jacob's ambition burned brighter than his loyalty, and that ambition found a new outlet in his boss, Claudia Pierce, a woman as ruthless as she was seductive. Their relationship, fueled by ambition and desire, set in motion a series of events that would unravel everything. It started innocuously. Late nights at the office, working on high-profile cases and sharing whiskey over victory speeches. Claudia had always taken an interest in Jacob, recognizing his potential as a shark in the legal waters. But soon, her interest shifted from professional to personal. Jacob, eager to climb the corporate ladder, found her advances impossible to resist. Claudia held the keys to his promotion, and Jacob convinced himself that a fling with her was a necessary sacrifice for his career. It wasn't just lust. It was the power Claudia represented. She embodied everything Jacob wanted, control, influence, and unyielding authority. And slowly, his moral compass eroded, pushing aside guilt and leaving only cold ambition. Claudia's hold over him deepened with every passing day, her manipulations tightening around his life like a noose. Sarah had no idea. Or so Jacob thought. One Friday evening, Jacob invited Sarah to an office party, wanting to maintain the illusion of a happy marriage. Claudia would be there, and it would be the first time Sarah would meet her. The night was full of expensive champagne, hollow compliments, and Jacob constantly glancing at Claudia across the room. Sarah, however, was sharp. She could sense the unspoken connection between Jacob and Claudia, the way his eyes lingered on her boss longer than they should. The breaking point came when Claudia, emboldened by her affair with Jacob, walked over to Sarah and started talking down to her. She made snide comments about Sarah's simple life as a housewife and how difficult it must be to hold down the fort while her husband climbed the corporate ranks. To Sarah's horror, Jacob didn't defend her. Instead, he chuckled as though the degrading comments were nothing more than harmless banter. As the evening dragged on, Sarah could no longer tolerate the humiliation. But when she tried to leave, Jacob grabbed her arm roughly and hissed in her ear, You're embarrassing me. Do you know how important this night is for my career? Sarah's eyes welled with tears. The man she had loved, trusted, and sacrificed for was now openly humiliating her, all in front of a woman he was having an affair with. It was the last straw. That night, as she lay in bed next to him, she vowed that Jacob would pay for what he had done. But she wouldn't just leave him. No, she would ruin him. Sarah knew leaving Jacob immediately wasn't the best strategy. She needed time, leverage, and the element of surprise. So she played the part of the dutiful wife, keeping her pain and anger bottled up. Behind the scenes, she began gathering evidence of Jacob's affair with Claudia. Emails, texts, and photos. She collected everything, careful not to arouse suspicion. But her revenge wouldn't stop there. It wasn't enough for her to expose the affair. Sarah wanted Jacob to feel the same humiliation and destruction he had inflicted on her. And so she devised a plan, a plan that would not only ruin his career, but also dismantle his life piece by piece. The first step was to turn the law firm against Jacob, Sarah, through a friend of hers who worked in corporate PR, leaked the affair to Claudia's superiors in the firm. Claudia was an executive, and the firm had a strict no-fraternization policy. The moment the news spread, Claudia was cornered. A scandal like this would destroy her career. In desperation, she threw Jacob under the bus, claiming that he had pursued her aggressively and that she had merely been a victim of his relentless ambition. Within weeks, Jacob found himself under investigation. The firm couldn't afford a scandal, especially not one involving one of their top executives. Jacob was suspended indefinitely, his career teetering on the edge of collapse. But Sarah wasn't done. Next, she filed for divorce, but not just any divorce. Sarah had prepared meticulously. Armed with the evidence she had gathered, she filed for adultery, infidelity, and emotional abuse, ensuring that she would take the lion's share of their assets. 
The divorce proceedings were brutal. Jacob, now jobless and humiliated, could do little as Sarah took everything, the house, the cars, and most importantly, his reputation. But Sarah's vengeance didn't end in court. There was still one more move to make, one more lethal strike. Jacob had no idea that Sarah had a connection to a journalist who specialized in exposés on corporate corruption and scandals. Using the evidence she had gathered, Sarah handed everything to the journalist, who crafted a damning article about the sordid affair between Jacob and Claudia, detailing their deceit, their abuse of power, and the resulting fallout. The article went viral, spreading like wildfire across social media. Jacob's name was plastered everywhere, not as a brilliant lawyer, but as a man who had destroyed his career and life through betrayal and greed. No law firm would touch him now, and Claudia, who had managed to escape with only minor consequences, severed all ties with him. Jacob was left alone, disgraced, and unemployable. But even then, Sarah wasn't satisfied. She sent Jacob a final message, one that would haunt him forever. I loved you once, but now I will make sure the world remembers you not as the man you were, but as the man you became. You humiliated me for power, and now power will destroy you. Months passed, and Jacob descended into despair. He tried to rebuild, but no one would give him a second chance. His name was synonymous with scandal. Sarah, meanwhile, thrived. Free from Jacob's betrayal, she focused on rebuilding her own life. She moved to a new city, started her own business, and found happiness in her independence. But for Jacob, the fall was complete. His betrayal had cost him everything, his wife, his career, and his dignity. And as he sat alone in a dingy apartment, a far cry from the life he once knew, he realized too late that the price of ambition, when paired with betrayal, was far more than he had ever bargained for.